Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot mainship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Morning from Beaufort, South Carolina. We had a nice little visit here and stayed in a really um, comfortable and quiet anchorage. And there's definitely, we can notice uh, the tides going up and down. They're much bigger tides here. Um, and again, the wind has got up a little bit today. So we are preparing to leave early in the dark again. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And we're doing this because of the way that the tides are at certain waterways on our way to Charleston today. So that's where we're headed to Charleston, which should take us about eight hours and we expect to arrive around 1.30, a little, bit, little after maybe. Um, so we're just preparing to lift up the anchor. Hope you're having a great day. Approaching the Ashapu Kusa Cutoff, which is a waterway that we plan to be here for a specific time because of the tides and the water levels. It's not going to take us that long to go through, but there were reports of shoaling all throughout, uh, right in the middle of the channel. And we saw that there was a note recently that at the beginning of this month in April, they were dredging the channel and we can actually see the dredging equipment there now. So hopefully it's fine to go through. And I believe we've had reports from other boats that have gone through successfully, but you still need to go through uh, avoiding low tide, basically. And uh, we're pretty much at slack tide now. And it uh, looks like it should be fine, but there's, there's us and there's two other boats about to go through. So we'll see um, what the conditions are like when we pass through. So it was no problem going through that Ashapu Kusa cutoff. Uh, we saw the lowest depth was about 12 feet and we saw the dredging equipment. So they're obviously taking care of the issue of the shoaling there. Uh, but it's certainly something to be aware of. Uh, we don't want to run aground out here. So uh, it was good that we got through successfully and the two boats behind us are just about through now as well.
Oh dear, we're about an hour out of Charleston and it's been a, a good journey today. It will be a total of about eight hours. We did start again in the dark just so that we arrived uh, at certain waterways at slack tide um, and uh, everything worked out that way. It's perfect. Um, so the weather's really good. It's fairly warm now. We just have our short sleeves on. Uh, we had a bit of a wind from the northwest which made it cooler this morning but it's actually very pleasant right now. We had a few boats overtake us here and there and uh, we overtook a couple of boats, not too many. We're pretty slow going. Um, but we're looking forward to seeing Charleston and exploring that area today. a lot of boats in one place. We've arrived in Charleston and we're at the Charleston Maritime Center with some big sailboats. Big, yeah, what are they? They're uh, tall ships. Tall ships, yeah. So I think there's some sort of international regatta here this weekend. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah.
Charleston is a port city in South Carolina founded in 1670. It's defined by cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages and well-preserved architecture, particularly in the elegant French Quarter and Battery districts. The Waterfront Park and Battery Promenade both overlook Charleston Harbour, and across the water at the inlet is Fort Sumter, where the first shots of the Civil War rang out. In spring, the moderate temperatures make it an excellent time to visit. It is a popular tourist destination with its unique blend of southern charm, historic landmarks, beaches and cuisine.